So let's say that you're that you've set up a doorway in one point perspective and you want to actually put some swinging doors into it. Um, the way this is going to work is you're going to slide a vanishing point over and that's going to define the um, sort of recession of the door and how far it it seems to be open. So when you put um, the vanish the second vanishing point far away from the initial vanishing point, that's going to open the door just slightly. So here you can see that it's about maybe like a third of the way towards being 90 degrees um, and being just part of the normal vanishing point system. Um, the other thing that's going to happen is this, this kind of sets up a two point perspective situation within the door itself. So when you draw the edge of the door that you can now see, it can't really go towards either of those two vanishing points. It has to go to a third vanishing point. And for me, I just estimate where it, it goes by instinct and feel. Um, the main thing is to have it not go perfectly horizontal and parallel to the horizon. Um, so here I'll do a second one and I'll put the vanishing point a little bit closer in so you can kind of see the difference. And it's worth practicing just, you know, a bunch of different angles for the door just to get a feel for how it's going to how it's going to work. Um, so here this will seem like it's about, you know, two thirds of the way open or maybe ha halfway open. Um, and one of the critical things is swinging this arc around from the center. So um, it's basically like an ellipse um, and it needs to feel like it's part of that plane and where that intersects, that's where your door ends and you can pull up a vertical. Um, and again, um, you work on the sort of two point perspective idea that you have a another vanishing point that the edge of the door is going to. And that should get you through most situations with uh, swinging doors. 